So here we have the Ford S-Max Automatic on a 69 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well. Currently all seven seats are in place. So this is the amount of boot space you have as a seven seater. The rear seats are very easy to drop down. Just pull up that lever at the top or that tab, I should say at the top and then fold the seat down into place. And obviously you can do that with this other one as well. And you can see how much boot space you'll have as a five seater. And there we go, that's as a five seater. It's also very easy to fold down the rear seat using these buttons here. So if I push the button, you'll see, and you can do that with all three, you'll see how much space you can get should you do that with the rest of them. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run from the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and the fuel gauge as well. Uh, in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 7,992. Beneath that, it will show you what gear this car is currently in, and above that, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. You can change the information that's displayed there, so you can have your entertainment, radio, etc., navigation, your phone menu, or the speedometer that we had displayed a moment ago. And over on the left-hand side, we have a trip computer. Again, you can change that information as well. And that is done with these buttons and these buttons for the middle section. Also over on the left there, you can see we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up. And that is done over on the touch screen just here. Hit connect to phone and then add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then just follow the instructions on screen from there. Uh, this car also has satellite navigation. There's a full video that shows how this works on both our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down from there, we have the CD player, uh, the main volume for the stereo just there. And in terms of other ways in which you can listen to music, they are highlighted within this box just here. So you will see we have AM, FM and DAB radio, the CD player I just mentioned. And once you paired your phone, you're able to stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. This car also has two separate USB inputs. If you plug devices into those, they will appear up on here as further options. We have the dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed and all adjustments will show up here. Once you're happy with those settings, uh, that button turns the air conditioning on and it will turn it off again, of course, or you can hit auto uh, and the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. Uh, you can override that simply by readjusting the fans yourself. We have a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well. This cubby hole section opens up, you have some storage, a 12 volt charging socket and the two USB inputs that I mentioned a moment ago. The dial for the gear, so we're in park, we have reverse neutral drive and you can put the car into sport mode should you wish to as well. We have an electronic handbrake. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. That system's off at the moment, so on or back off and you can turn the parking sensors off and back on from here as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.